Hey guys, it's Sue Smith. Okay, today this video. How to depict rabbits in film. So is this just about the rabbits film or just uh, filming Arabic people? I don't know, but let's see what it's like. If you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're here. So, let's get into it. Oh, it's Arabic, isn't it? It's cool, actually. Hello, Hollywood. I'm here today because I feel oh, we need to Arabic. talk. Just give me a sec. Khwani al-Arab, this video is not for you. You see me talking about Hollywood and we have a special topic that we want to discuss. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time. You're going to watch a film, 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 from the Sheikh to Raiders of the Lost Ark to Back to Future to mm -hmm. Harum's Karom to Animated Aladdin. I mean, it's just movies, right? Yeah, for me, those, uh, you know, films are really Arabic. Yeah, Arabic image. So he thinks it's different, right? Yeah, that's interesting. But as we are heading to 2020, don't you guys want to start researching a little bit? Google, maybe? Again, I'm not angry. All of that was past, and now we're looking for a brighter future. So please, listen to us. We're making this video just because we want to give you a little help mm. on how to do this. That sounds interesting. Yeah. We're going to see the true Arabic film, right? That's good. I got Nope, nope, is not alright. Ana atahadathul Arabiya. This is how it what looks. What does it mean? And shakala looks like this. Does this sound or looks like anything a human would say to you? And this goes to you also, Call of Duty and Counter Strike. I can <sighs> see you boys, and I know that we have hard. I don't know that there, that's a, such a really popular word. Wow, this is my first lawsuit. Words in our vocabulary that you'll never be able to pull off in your whole life. But it's simple. You have an Arabian character get an Arabian consultant <laughs> because Shakala Hakma is not a Hakma Lakira what do you mean right but now in Makum it to Kuha can you imagine we have accents other than this one yes my dear we yeah it sounds really Arabic to me Arabic accent to me there are more than 22 countries who speaks more than 60 different accents. So wow. when your movie is happening Surprising. in Iraq and I hear Egyptian accents I'll be like how did we get to Cairo already? Is it a time travel film? Allahu Akbar! Everyone's a free! And yes, Allahu Akbar is not a war call. It's not. We use it when we pray, we use it in Eid, we use uh, it when Salah scores a goal because it simply so means God is great. I don't have to be holding a goddamn machine gun while saying it. <laughs> I oh, see. That's, that's yeah, good to know. Yeah. So people take it, you know, as a, you know, set of the war, you know, for like terrorists, but actually it's praying words. That's totally different. Wow, that's kind of dangerous, right? Yeah. We have to get the right knowledge, yeah, to understand the culture, you know. Cut! No, guys, no. We don't do crazy sketches in this episode. We're talking to filmmakers and they might be looking for double meanings, all right? We keep it simple. And he does not have to be Abdul. I don't know the first who made the name out of Abdul because technically it's a word and a half. There is a half word missing in there. But anyway, it's now a known oh. name. But I think you guys need to be more diverse while choosing names for Arabian characters. I mean, Abdul is fine, but try something new. Try Khalid. Try Hussein. Khalid. Try Bara, and I'm saying Bara, not Bara, because I always get this. You guys get your R's from the inside. Bara, R, R. It's Bara. <laughs> ra, ra, bara. Bara. You know what? We stick to Abdul. Names are not a priority here. And for okay. the big surprise of this episode, oh, we're not all terrorists. 
I don't want to start preaching you about the diversity of terrorist races and religions and that the only thing they have in common is hatred because I'll assume you learned that before you learn how to put a camera on a tripod. We're not yeah, there. that's the image of Arabic from us, yeah. No offense though, but that, you know, people uh, in that costume looks really terrorist to me. Especially when you hide your face, you know, most of face, looking only your eyes, <laughs> that looks really terrorist. Yeah, obviously, you know, I know uh, most of people are not terrorists, but that terrorist will just have that image. That's too bad, isn't it? it is! And now we're joking. That was a joke. Bro, I swear <laughs> it's a joke. I show. We lost a subscriber because of a goddamn sketch. Oh, that's I told okay. You guys. I like your sense of humor. Who did write that sketch, huh? <laughs> Those infidels think we don't have barbershop. Also, I always sacrifice my beard while I'm doing this stuff. Can you actually imagine that I love it? And I would like to make sure that you guys know that not all Arabs have beards and not all Arabian oh, really? beards are religious. And even if you meet an Arabian bearded religious guy, he doesn't have to blow your head out of a misinterpretation of that religion. Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, yeah. I thought all Arabian had to have beard for religion, but it's not. Wow, that's surprising. So again, we're not terrorists. The sun has a crush on us. That's why it always put us here. And so, so that costume for terrorists, the red like, yeah, true? And that's why we're using shumag. I shumag. bet you've seen it before. And in order for the shumag to sit right, we use tagia. Mm. This tagia or kofia has no religious reference. Oh. It is a symbol of deeper meaning in some Arabian countries. But look me in the eye and tell me you didn't laugh your ass out when you saw C Not coming in season <laughs> five of prison. I'm sorry. I couldn't help laughing. That was too much, man. That was the most fun thing in that shitty season. Like I said, the struggle. And speaking <laughs> of things on top, there is this third thing called ikal. It's actually called ikal. Ikal. Don't you ever try to pronounce What's that? it. Anyway, this is not acceptable. This is a laughing aqal. <laughs> so if you're going to Dubai to fall on one of these desert trips, please let the only memory you come up with is without laughing aqal. Okay. Because laughing aqal makes you look just like dumb. I'm sorry to say it. Okay. And the only Not purpose lesson. of a aqal is to keep the shamar stable. You see? You don't want your shamar to be flying away, so you use the aqal. So what's that for? It has other uses. <laughs> But I don't want to start talking to you about them now, it's not a time. It's my first day here in Riyadh. Can I have an ID5, please? Single origin from Dahran, huh? This goes <laughs> mostly for Saudis, you know? I know we have oil. Everybody knows we have oil. It's not just like... Not all of us work in it. We have offices, we have yeah, farmers. Yeah, I we think have so, people yeah. who make YouTube videos. See? Yeah, but, but when it comes to the Arabian countries, yeah, that's oil. That's fast my image. Oil or terrorist, yeah. So obviously the image of Arab is, you know, many people are working for the oil work, jobs. So most of them are rich. That's our image. But of course, yeah, there is another job. So people are working for another jobs. You know, some are in suits, especially developed country like uh, UAE, yeah, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, there are many other jobs and uh, many foreigners working for, you know, some people, some people even in suits, uh, you know, working for some business. So that's, yeah, understandable. This is so offensive to a level I don't want to even joke about. The Arabian violent guy who becomes an opened mouth idiot when the American blondes pass by. And the Billy Dancer's ship. Oh my <laughs> god. We don't have them. They, they exist, but not all our women are Billy Dancers. I've seen hundreds <laughs> like, like of Arabian one? woman characters in American films and have never seen an intelligent, independent one who can make her own choice. Well, guess what? 
They goddamn exist. Where they yeah. cut off your ear if they don't like your face. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. From vilifying yeah, Palestinians and Iraqis for political agendas to doing it just because it looks exotic, it's all really in here. Oh, and all really? of that can be Get also applied on different other nationalities and races like Germans, Russians, Indians, and the list goes on. How arrogant is that huge motion picture machine to start creating stereotypes about people who are actually different among themselves? And how arrogant am I trying to criticize them and preach them from my small shitty room while I should go gather a team and go make real films telling real stories about us. Mm. I can totally agree with that. There is this beautiful documentary called Real Bad Arabs based mm. on a book by an American writer called Jack Shaheen. I would advise you to go take a look. I will leave you the link of it in the description okay. below. Go take a look, so analyze it. So is this it, today telling about the true Arabs culture? Your ancestors have done and try to avoid them. I'm an optimist and I believe in the future, particularly in young filmmakers. The stereotype will change. I okay. know that some of what you guys depict is real and based on real sources and I know that drama requires exaggeration sometimes mm. and that you don't even make these films with us in mind. We just thought to make this video because it's fun and out of our urge to say that we'd like to enjoy Hollywood films with Arabian characters depicted just as we enjoy our great works of Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood that's so many of the things that come out you are trying are really to portray well, us well, as you know, perfect helpful. or trying to go against this public bashing that's happening. And I don't think this show is really interested in doing that as much as it is being like, hey, we struggle with the same values, with the same desires, with the same problems. I yeah. was born in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, and I consider myself a product of cinema which 80% of it came to me from Hollywood so Hollywood if you needed any consultancy or Arabian actors they need you saying. they need you and by the way you can be filmers too and subscribe to this channel I can teach you a little bit about your own history okay great that was a great movie. Now I understand that I had a big stereotype for Arabs. You know, terrorists, oil, belly dance. Yeah, those are really so Arab for us, Arab image for us. To be honest, for Japanese, we can't really tell the difference between Arabs, especially like, like you know, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar. What's the difference between them? But when it comes to this kind of topic, yeah, of course there is a difference between you know, those countries. Each country has original cultures. You, you know, some some don't have terrorism. You know, some places are really safe. And some don't have oil. Some don't do belly dance. So. His insist is totally understandable, reached to me, actually. Now I'm really curious about the, you know, uh, actual culture, so I'll see later. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to like, button and subscribe, please. So, mata ho.